Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this short video, we're gonna talk about the secret to fixing low testosterone, okay? Now, you ready for the secret? Are you ready for this? Are you sitting down? So it's not about necessarily trying to boost your testosterone, that's not it. Out of all the things that you can do, it's really the avoidance of something that will improve testosterone. And so first thing I'm gonna talk about is the symptoms, and then I'm gonna get into the things that you can do to boost it, but then I'm going to talk about the three things you need to pay attention to to avoid so you can really get your testosterone back, okay? So first of all, let's talk about the symptoms. Decreased libido, decreased erections, um, decreased vitality, you're starting to gain some weight around the midsection, and you cannot build muscle mass. So you go work out and the muscle is not coming back or not getting bigger, okay? That's all signs of deficiency in testosterone. And what's interesting is you get older in your 40s and 50s and 60s, testosterone starts going down, 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 okay? In a female body, it goes up. So um, everything is reversed, right? So now let's talk about the triggers. So it is true, yeah, you can take zinc from seafood and beef and lamb and sesame seeds and pumpkin seeds. You can do that, okay? And you can take vitamin D and vitamin D actually uh, is from the sun, or you could do, take it from cod liver oil. And the only vegetarian, vegetation, uh, vegetarian source would be mushrooms. Um, and then vitamin A from cod liver oil. And then resistive exercise. All those are really good to trigger testosterone, but it doesn't make a huge impact as compared to avoiding these three things I'm gonna talk about next, okay? So there are three hormones that in the presence of these hormones, testosterone is going to plummet, okay? Number one is insulin, okay? This regulates blood sugars. Number two, estrogen. When estrogen goes up, testosterone goes down. And three is cortisol. When cortisol goes up, testosterone goes down, all right? So out of these three, yes, insulin will do it, cortisol will do it, but the most important thing that you need to focus on is your estrogen levels, because if that estrogen is too high, and it's very, very common, because as you get older, especially in a male body, the, t the estrogen goes up and your testosterone goes down. So you notice your voice starts getting higher, uh, the skin starts getting uh, thinner and, and softer. That's estrogen, okay? So real quick, I put some links down below of how to fix, like if you have problems with insulin resistance and what to avoid with that. You know, definitely intermittent fasting and cutting out sugars and things. So that's, I don't want to put attention on that because I want to focus more on the estrogen, but you want to handle the insulin and then cortisol. Cortisol is all about getting rid of stress, enhan enhan enhancing your sleep, and getting to your, getting a good adrenal gland function, okay? So now let's just put some attention on this estrogen. Now, the single biggest source of hidden estrogen in in your diet is basically from consuming animal products. Not because the animals are injected with estrogen, it's because the animal feed. So they give them soy. Unless it's grass-fed, they're giving a grain. And I always kind of laugh when you see on the label, it's like, oh yeah, this, uh, these eggs are, are vegetarian-fed. All that means is they're giving them soy and corn. Okay, both of them are GMO. So not only does that increase estrogen because you have, it's filled with uh, pesticides like uh, you know, herbicides and Roundup Ready, but the biggest thing is the soy feed that's fed to the chickens and the ca cattle. That's the thing that's messing people up. So there's even an organization now that's trying to monitor that, but they haven't really got too far because it's very political. But if you're gonna consume animal products, uh, it better be grass-fed and definitely organic because this is estrogen effect. And so also if you have some extra fat in your body right now, there's an enzyme called aromatase that basically is in your fat. And that's converting the last bit of testosterone you have to estrogen. So your own body is making more estrogen, not to mention the animal products and everything else. So I wanna give you some things to do to actually clean up the estrogen. This whole um, estrogen problem is really uh, in the liver. So we want to make sure the liver is <clears throat> really, really good. So there's the top foods that you should be eating right now to lower your estrogen, and they're anti-estrogenic, 
and they will also inhibit this enzyme are cruciferous vegetables, and you probably heard that before, kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and do a shake of kale, beet leaves, and parsley, because parsley is a really good anti-estrogenic vegetable as well. So you do that. Olive oil is very anti-estrogenic. Celery is very anti-estrogenic. Mushrooms have a very high anti-estrogenic. Just regular, those little button mushrooms, you can just start consuming those. Women, in a study with women that uh, consumed, I think it was like eight ounces of mushrooms, they decreased their uh, breast cancer by 50%. So it's pretty significant. So we wanna start changing the diet and start to improving the liver. The other thing that will increase the estrogen in addition to the animal feeds and is any type of soy in the diet, soy protein isolates, I mean, soil is in so many foods. It's just very, very estrogenic, and 95% of it is GMO. The last thing I want to talk about is another hidden source of estrogen is alcohol. Okay, Alcohol uh, is very estrogenic too, and, and the problem with men is they start getting man boobs, they start getting prostate problems because of the estrogen effect. Okay, so I just wanted to put your attention on the most important thing to put your attention on if you have low T, it's this little guy right here. Starts cleaning up the liver, start adding more vegetables to start getting this estrogen out. Change your diet, go to grass-fed, and thank you so much for watching.